This is problem 10 from the new SAT practice test 1, section 3. We're given the function g of x equals ax squared plus 24. And we're giving a specific value of the function when x equals 4, the function is 8. The question is, what is the y value of the function when x equals minus 4? So the first step would be finding this fixed value here letter a to do that we're going to plug in x equals 4 here in the function and we're going to change g of x by 8 so it looks pretty much like this 8 equals a 4 squared plus 24 and 4 squared is 16 so this is 8 times 16 plus 24. Do not add 24 plus 16 because we're supposed to solve this equation here and find the value of a. So this equals 8 minus 24, which is 16a. 8 minus 24 equals minus 16. So a must be minus one. So we have solved the first step, which is finding a. So now that we found a, which is minus one, we just put it here in the original function. We don't have to put the one, we just put the negative sign here. And the second step would be plugging in x equals minus four here in the function, which is found without the letter a. So the negative, the first negative comes from the function. We put the parentheses and then put minus 4 squared, which is the value we want to find. So we get negative again. Minus 4 squared equals 16, positive 16. This negative is the one that was outside the x here. We really have to be careful with the signs because that makes a whole difference between a right and a wrong answer. So this equals 8. So we have solved this exercise the long way, which is good if you have a different function that is not a parabola. But once you get to know the properties of the parabola, we can solve this much faster. We'll leave that to another video. So now go ahead and subscribe. Definitely get the first 20 tips for the new SAT. And also go ahead and book a private session. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to working with you.